Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well and uh, today I would like to tell you um, about how to drive in China and today uh, how to drive in China it's, uh, it's a video that uh, the advice for today is uh, honking, honking in China so if you have been to China or if you are living in China you will, you will notice or you, you probably notice that people uh, always, uh, always honk always honk when they are driving maybe you will be uh, just walking down the street and they will be bah, 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 and when behind you honking 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 and this is probably uh, one of the most difficult thing for us foreigners living in China to get accustomed to this and in fact um, the honking is not nasty it's not like in the West if you do this in the West it means uh, move away you piece of uh, okay it's uh, something like this in France it's something like this if someone uh, honks behind you it's really uh, it's really bad it's really uh, some kind of insult and it's really not nice but here in China it's totally a different story in China this the honking is a warning and uh, if you want to drive safe to minimize the risk you always need to honk to make sure so let me give you a few examples. So here I'm going to do something that is really not safe and that you should never do, but I have no choice because I need to go on the wrong side of the road for just a few hundred meters. If I don't do this, then I will need uh, to uh, drive all the way uh, the other side and it will take me maybe uh, 20 minutes and come back this way. Why is that? Uh, because the road is under renovation, the road is under construction. So I have no choice but uh, go there. If I, else, uh, it will take me, as I tell you, um, it takes me about 20 minutes. Uh, maybe I should do it, but if, uh, I'm not willing to spend 20 minutes just, uh, I'm, uh, just uh, to, uh, to drive to be safe. I would rather take the risk here. But what I do is I drive very slowly because I'm on the wrong side of the road. And, this is really a, a issue here. In China, there is no planification. Sometimes, uh, and you can see just uh, before me, and I showed you this in many videos. Here, the, even the pedestrians, they cannot walk on the pedestrian pass. There is no more pedestrian pass. So they need to walk on the main road together with the car. Like these guys are also doing. These guys are just crazy. Because he could walk on the pedestrian pass. But some, sometimes you have no choice. And for me here, I have the choice, but I have the choice to spend 20 minutes more or to uh, go this way. And anyway, I will show you how you do the honking, the honking part. So let me uh, just uh, go down the street with you a little bit, go down the road with you and I will show you how the honking is done. So usually you need to honk whenever, uh, whenever you think it's not safe. Whenever you think there is, there is a car maybe on the right side and you don't know is the car going to go first, are you going to go first, is, it, is this car going to start, uh, is it safe or not. So you need to, uh, to use the, the honking in that case. Um, let me show you. So it will be a little bit difficult to use the, the horn to honk uh, because I am driving with one hand since I'm holding the camera. But I'm driving very, very slowly and I know the, the road well, so it's fine. And also the traffic, there's not so much traffic at this time of the day. It's about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So let me go, you see the, the light is green, so I can go. Yeah. Pom, pom, pom. Pom, pom, pom. For instance, let's say you want to respect the rule. So you want to go on the right lane because this is the e-bike lane. There is the car here. You don't know if someone is inside the car or if the car is parked, so you don't know. You are going like this, maybe there is someone inside the car. You're driving, here there is someone inside the car. You don't know if he will start his car. So you need to do the honking like this. I will not do it because you know you need to do the honking like this. Because you're never sure. Uh, maybe I'm moving here, I'm moving very slowly with my foot, you know, you never know, so you just do like this, then maybe, uh, maybe uh, there's a guy here, so here he wants to go, you can honk at him, he's coming uh, on the wrong side of the road, he, you can honk at him and then um, he will know, uh, maybe you honk at him and you tell him, hey, hey I'm going first, I'm going first, I should, uh, you stay in front, you stay on your line and say honk, 
and you would tell him, move away, move away, I'm going first. So the honking is just a way to say, take care, I am coming here, or take care, I am going first. Mm -hmm. Or um, maybe there is a car that comes from the right, here, you see. I'm coming here at the crossroad, here this is the parking place, you have a car that comes from the right. I'm driving, there's a car on the right here, this car is coming, here there's no car, but just imagine there's a car. I don't want to stop, I just want to tell him you need to stop because you are coming out of the parking, so I honk and uh, therefore I can, uh, I can just, just, just uh, go first. I will just tell him I'm going first and uh, you need to, uh, to wait. This is how you do it. Here yeah, there is another car coming here uh, that's parked here. So normally this is the e-bike lane, so they are not supposed to be parked here. And anyway, it's not safe. Maybe this guy will open the door. Maybe this guy will start his car. Here there was also a car. So I'm going through, if I want to minimize the risk, many people don't do it. But you should do it. If you really want to minimize the risk, then you just take care. I don't know if there is someone or not. Up, I just do a small one. If he's inside his car, then he will know someone is coming and there's less chance that he opens the door. There's less chance that he starts his car. So you really minimize the risk. And it's the same if there is a pedestrian. For instance, a pedestrian is walking in front of you just in the middle of the road. This can happen. Then it's better. You want to pass the pedestrian. The pedestrian is just in front of me. I want to pass him and I will honk. Why is that? Because otherwise the pedestrian, if, I'm, if I honk, if I use the horn, the pedestrian will not move. But if I don't use the horn, maybe you have someone walking in front of you and suddenly he will walk and suddenly poof, he will move on, on the left or he will walk on the right. You never know, you cannot know if the guy who is walking in front of you is going to walk uh, on the right side or on the left side. You have no idea. He doesn't know you are coming uh, behind him. So you need to warn him. In China you need to warn him. In France, you will never do this because he's a pedestrian. So pedestrian come first. You have the car, you have the e-bike, you have the bicycle. Uh, you, uh, you can hurt him because you are stronger, you are bigger, you can hurt him. So you should really uh, uh, not hurt him and you should not scare him. You need to be polite with people. So if someone is walking in front of you, you should just wait and uh, then when the guy is moving away and it's really safe then you can go but in China it's not at all the same you see in China there will be maybe some people who are pedestrians they will walk in front of you on the main road this is the place where you should have the the the, the cars so it's they are not allowed to to walk on the road and and this will happen a lot so or even sometimes and this i hate to do this but I, it's happened all the time you have some e-bike they go on the pedestrian lane and then they come from behind like i'm behind this woman and they will honk bam, bam, bam. And it's very scary, I hate it, and this happened to me all the time. And I think, you see this guy, he was just walking on the main road, he has no right to walk here. So anyway, if you are coming, you need to warn him, or this guy here, this old man. You are walking here, he's going to cross the street. You are walking here, you want to make sure that he's not going to... If, if I'm going to pass him on the left, you want to make sure that he's not going to move on the left side. And in that case, you have the accident. Here is another example. There is this, um, this zebra, uh, zebra, this uh, lane, so I, I'm going to go here. This car just honk. Why he's going to tell them, I am coming first, you need to stop. In China you don't stop for the pedestrian, you will do like this and you honk. Dang, 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 you need to stop, I'm going first. You see, that's how you do it. You need to hurry up uh, across the street or you need to stop because I am not going to stop. You need to, the honking is a warning. It's a warning that uh, don't cross the street, I'm coming with my car, I cannot stop. I am coming first. Don't turn, uh, don't get out of this lane on the right, I'm coming first. Uh, take care, I'm just behind you and I'm going to pass you with my e-bike. Or take care, I'm just behind you, I'm going to pass you with my car. So this is the meaning of the honking uh, in China. And you need to use this. Uh, personally, I use this uh, not so often because it's still difficult for me to do this to other people. I feel bad when I use the horn. But now, uh, when the danger, when there is really a danger, I will use the horn. Because even some people, some Chinese people, pedestrian, if you don't uh, honk at them, they will, they will feel scared because you just come there and they will not be happy. So it's better you warn them, like this guy here. You see this guy in front is walking in, 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 in the on the road. I'm going to pass him from the left. So I'm going to pass him on the left. I cannot use the horn here, but I'm going to pass him on the left. And normally I should do I should honk like this. Then he knows someone is coming. Uh, otherwise, maybe he was going to move on the left and uh, 
and, <laughs> and you know, he, in that case, he would not have seen me. Okay, so I, I think you understand what I wanted to explain today, and uh, I hope this is useful for you if you are driving in China, so this is something to know. Of course, they will not teach you this way, and you will need to learn this by yourself, and you need to understand this. This is how to drive in China so that you can minimize the risk and drive safe. And I'm going to leave you for now, so take care everyone. See you next time. Bye-bye.